Hello everyone, my name is Tresho May Fernandez from Tagkawayan Quezon, and the title of my piece is Lustful Love or Lovable Lust. Everybody knows the word love. Others would say, everything I can do for you. I can even climb the mountain top as you make my heartbeat pound like a butterflies in my stomach fluttering. Cause you are the cause of my euphoria and even brings me an insomnia. But who knows the true meaning of love? Others say love symbolizes lust and lust symbolizes love. But love doesn't always came from lust and lust won't forever last. However, we should know the right virtue that applies to sexuality. A sign of true love without giving up your body as early. That is, true chastity refers to the capacity to have reverence for the gift of sexuality. This involves being morally clean in thoughts, words, and actions. While sexual intimacy is ordained of God for love expression and for children's creation. Its main components consist of faith, responsibility, joy, femininity, and masculinity. The question is, how love and lust differ from each other? Love gives while lust takes. Love is unconditional while lust is conditional. Love brings relaxation while lust brings tension. Love is a decision while lust is like an infatuation. Love brings sacrifice while lust brings violence. Love surrender while lust crave for desire. Love sets you free while lust imprisons you in an interdictory. Love discusses feelings in reality while lust discusses feelings in a fantasy. Love is like a drug. No rehab can fix it. It will take a whole lot of medication before we're able to move on. Thus, it's not a sin at all to fall in love, but make sure your action is a reflection of your candid love. Hence, chastity is necessary. It signifies spiritual energy capable of defending love from perils of aggressiveness and self greedy It includes apprenticeship in self-mastery, which is a training in a human liberty as well as a witness in God's fidelity. Because chastity is a joyous affirmation to free from self-centered slavery. So, a man and a woman needs a continuous illumination of the Holy Spirit to live chastely. An increase human's dignity enables them to love unselfishly. How does chastity benefit us? Well, first of all, it reduced chances of psychological damages. Second, free from any STD, HIV, or even AIDS. Third, reduced risk of early pregnancy and miscarriage. Chastity is an ultimate perfection of a Holy Spirit, as true love came from Jesus Christ. As written in the Bible, For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in Him shall not perish but have an eternal life. Therefore, parents should teach chastity and able to build a much better personality, thereby creating a framework of educating young adolescents for self-realization and implies temperance, fortitude, and prudence formation. If parents will not teach their children about chastity, their failing in their first duty, likewise, they will be guilty as they tolerate their children to grow up with immorality. To avoid lust, have a strong connection with God to resist. Don't let your physical pleasure and sexual gratification be the center of your relationship. Try meditation to develop an inner peace and feel in peace. Think about twice and wisely. Is it a lovable lust or a lustful love? As we shouldn't rush. Don't let your dignity, reputation, and image turn into an ash.